I had always been fascinated by amusement parks, the bright lights, the laughter, the screams of excitement. So when I heard about a new carnival opening up on the outskirts of town, I knew I had to go. The carnival was called the Creepy Carnival, and it promised to be the most terrifying amusement park ever built. I was intrigued. I had never been to a horror-themed carnival before, and I couldn't wait to see what it had in store. As I approached the entrance, I could hear the eerie music and the creaking of the old wooden roller coaster. The air was thick with the smell of popcorn and cotton candy. I paid my admission fee and stepped inside. At first, everything seemed normal. There were clowns walking around on stilts, carnival games with stuffed animal prizes, and a Ferris wheel that towered over everything else. But as I walked deeper into the park, I began to notice that something was off. The clowns weren't smiling. Their faces were twisted into grotesque expressions of pain and terror. The carnival games were rigged so that no one could win, and the Ferris wheel, well, let's just say that it wasn't taking its passengers on a gentle ride. I decided to try out one of the rides. It was called the Tunnel of Terror, and it looked like a typical haunted house ride. But as soon as I stepped inside, I knew that this was no ordinary ride. The car jerked forward and I was plunged into darkness. The only light came from flickering candles that lined the walls. As we moved deeper into the tunnel, I could hear strange noises all around me. Whispers, moans, screams. Suddenly, the car came to a stop and a figure stepped out of the shadows. It was a clown, but not like any clown I had ever seen before. Its face was twisted into an expression of pure evil, and its eyes glowed red in the darkness. I tried to scream, but no sound came out. The clown reached out and touched my face with its cold, clammy hand. And then everything went black. When I woke up, I was lying on the ground outside of the ride. My head was pounding and my heart was racing. I looked around and saw that the carnival had changed. The bright lights were gone, replaced by flickering lanterns that cast an eerie glow over everything. The laughter had turned into screams of terror. I tried to run, but my legs wouldn't move. It was like I was stuck in a nightmare that I couldn't wake up from. And then I saw it. The most terrifying thing of all. It was a giant clown head with razor-sharp teeth and glowing red eyes. It towered over everything else in the park and it seemed to be staring right at me. I don't know how long I stood there, frozen in fear. But eventually my legs started moving again and I ran as fast as I could towards the exit. As I burst through the gates and into the safety of the outside world, I looked back at the creepy carnival one last time. And what I saw will haunt me for the rest of my life. The clown head was still there, grinning its evil grin. But now it was surrounded by all of the other clowns from the park. And they were all staring at me with their glowing red eyes. I don't know what happened at the creepy carnival that night. All I know is that it was the most terrifying amusement park ever built and that I will never go back there again.